Hey, hello guys. Are you more interested in making RC cars and RC drones? If yes, then this is the right place for you. And I am Priyo with you from Shine Electronics to show you the working of the Fanduino joystick shield with the Arduino Uno. So if you are a new viewer, please watch the video till the end. And if you find something interesting, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends more and more. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So for the project we should need a Fanduino joystick shield and a Arduino Uno and a USB cable. If we take a close look on the Fanduino joystick shield then we can see on the upper side there is the interface for the Nokia 5110 display module. On the upper left side there is the interface for the NRF24L1 transceiver module with which I have made a RC card which is already in my channel. You can go and watch it. I am putting the link in the i button. Also on the upper right side there is a interface for the Bluetooth module HC05 where you can plug in the header pins of the HC05 module with the uh, respective pin numbers plus minus T and R. Also there is a power set button on the bottom left side that is the 5 volt and 3 volt. I recommend you to put it in the 3 volt, 3.3 volt since it is taking power from the Arduino directly as you plug in to the Arduino Uno. So if you keep it to 5 volt it might get damaged. So you must keep it to 3.3 volt or if you are making any car where much more power is required you can plug into the 5 volt. If we take a close look on the Fanduino joystick shield, we can see that on the right side the x axis direction is given and on the top side the y axis direction is given. Since we plug the Fanduino to the Arduino Uno, so we are not able to use the Arduino pins directly. So we can see on the top side several female header and male header pins are given on the Fanduino joystick shield so that no Arduino pins are wasted for the purpose of mounting the Fanduino to Arduino. See how much fantastic it is. On the bottom side the SCLSJ ground and 5 volts are also given with which we can connect a 4 pin OLED display or a LCD display with the I2C. Now plug in the Fanduino to your Arduino and your Arduino to your PC for final programming as I am connecting. In the code for the testing of Fanduino joystick shield, the two pins 0 and 1 with the global variables x axis and y axis are defined. Okay, with the has defined pin analog x0 and has defined pin analog y1. Okay, on the void setup part, the serial dot begin with the baud rate 9600 is given. The baud rate is necessary when we see our output in our serial monitor. Now, in the void loop part, we are printing the x axis values with the serial dot print x. What will happen as we move our joystick in our x direction that is towards the right or towards the left, the analog values will be red and we can see our output in our serial monitor. Similarly, the y axis values will be uh, printed in the same way on the serial monitor. We are giving some amount of delay to clearly observe our values on serial monitor as given. Here 500 millisecond delay is given 
यू कैन गिव थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड एज मच एज यू कैन ओके ऑल्सो लेस यू कैन गिव नाउ यू आर सिंपली कॉम्पाइलिंग द स्केच एंड यू मस्ट केयर दैट द ऑप्शन आर प्रॉपरली चोजन बिफोर अपलोडिंग योर कोड टू द आर डू नो द बोर्ड एज आर डू नो कोड इज चेक मार्क विद द कॉम बोर्ड प्रोग्रामर इज आर डू नो आई एस पी ओके आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग द प्रॉपर ऑप्शन यू शुड डायरेक्टली अपलोड द कोड टू योर आर डू नो नो आफ्टर अपलोडिंग इज डन ओपन द सीरियल मॉनिटर and you can see the output continuously coming after a delay of 500 millisecond now as we move our joystick towards the x axis that is towards the left or towards the right on moving towards the left we can see that the x axis values has become zero on the serial monitor and the y axis has decreased to 181 now as are we are moving the joystick to the right then the x axis values has gone to maximum 677 and the y axis values has remain same that is 337 to 338 as we move the joystick downwards that is towards the negative y axis then we can see the y axis values has gone to zero and the x axis values has remains the same that is 337 to 338 while when we move the joystick upwards you can see that the x axis values has remained the same 337 to 338 and the y axis values has gone to maximum that is 677 to 678 okay so with this you can test that the joystick shield is perfect and your funduino joystick shield is ready for an action also if you move randomly your joystick then you can see a random number of values are coming on your serial monitor which are quite natural okay so like this you can also test your funduino joystick shield and this was simply the intro video to the funduino joystick shield after this several projects tutorial uh, are coming on this channel on this funduino joystick shield obviously the rc car project with the funduino joystick and the nrf 2.11 is still remaining so stay tuned on my channel and thanks a lot to all of you guys because very soon we are going to complete the milestone of 1k subscribers and we will be a family of 1k subscribers okay and uh, keep watching the videos keep uh, sharing more and more so meet you in the next video soon till then have a wonderful day ahead